clears the matter up for uh, members of the House. Madam uh, Chair. I call the Honourable David Bennett. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'd um, just like to thank uh, members of this House for supporting this bill. And, um, it is a very important part for um, New Zealand agriculture and horticulture to make sure that we have um, a strong biosecurity and uh, food safety network, and, uh, and this is really important and part of the food security area. Now, we know that we've got the most slippery Minister of Agriculture that we've ever had uh, that fails to answer questions, that um, has been abject in his failure um, in many basic issues since he's taken over the role, um, how he's destroying the New Zealand dairy industry through the microplasma, how he's destroying New Zealand dairy industry through the dairy reforms, um, how he's destroyed the New Zealand honey industry through his failure to get manuka honey right, and how the he's going to order. destroy New point Zealand water. Order. Point of order, point of order, order. Mr. Ma Madam, Madam Speaker, all due respect, uh, we're here on the third reading of the Food Safety Law Refor Reform Bill, um, and I would hope that the learned uh, uh, colleague across the way would address the bill that's in question. I'd encourage him. Um, so no, to and do uh, so. if you gave me a chance to get to my David point, I would have uh, made the point very clearly that the minister um, made a lot of talk in his speech about things that. He, as Minister, has done, and especially in regard to with his coalition partners, and there hasn't been one single change in that bill from what was introduced by the National Party before the election and debated in this House. Not one single change. And it is very, very rich for the Labor Party and the Minister to come into this House, a failed Minister that has an object history of failure in the three or four months he's had the job, to actually come in and then say that he has been such a master of food safety and delivered such a great result for this country um, when he has not at one stage even helped in preparing this bill. He has not done one thing that actually added to this bill and, and, and then says that he has worked with his coalition partners to make that a reality. So I'm just bringing some reality to debate um, and showing the truth of the situation and not letting the agenda of a minister that has completely failed in everything he has done since he has been a minister to take um, advantage of this House at this time. Now, that minister, of course, um, is completely protected at question time by the Speaker, who makes it um, extremely difficult um, for questions to be um, undertaken in this House. And uh, there's been a loss of democracy in this country. Um, through the way that question time has been uh, attempted uh, uh, to be run and Excuse in, in this me, if I could just bring the member back to the substance of the bill. Oh, and it is very important for the substance of the bill because if, you, if, if one cannot debate a bill in this House and one cannot have a, a decent question time to look at, it is the food safety bill, my friend, and um, we introduced it to the House um, rather than um, the Labor Party at all. And, um, and, and a part of Part of the legislative process is also to be able to hold a government to account, and um, that is a very important part of any legislation. And we were in the third reading of a bill. Um, it's also important that we are able to hold a minister and a government to account, and uh, you just cannot do that in the current environment we are in. This is um, there is no democracy at question time. Uh, the example today. With the right order, 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 order. If the member has an issue with regards to question time, I believe that the speaker at the time offered some remedy to that, to either speak with him directly in, in his chambers or to write that. We are on the third reading debate of the Food Safety Law Reform Bill, yes. and I will encourage yeah. the member yeah. to come back to that bill. Yeah. This will be the last yeah. time I do so. Yes, no, thank you, Madam Chair. And, and it's important that we do that, but um, if, if opportunities are not made that are actually realistic for anyone to take up, then people will have to take the only opportunity they have, and that is to speak in this House, because um, there is no realistic opportunity to debate with the Speaker his actions in this House, and this is the only time that we have that appointment. Speaker, now, point, point of order, Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, it's not appropriate to bring the Speaker Thank into you. disrepute in that way, I, and I'd ask that the member be required to withdraw and apologise. Yeah. I didn't actually hear the comment. Um, 
carry on with the bill. Then. I, yeah. So, I, I'm, um, I'm so the bill is just, something sorry, that there has been. I haven't been... called you yet. I'm just referring to the matter that um, the Honourable Ruth Dyson brought. I didn't actually hear the comment. Um, so I, this is a very robust debate, and there is lots of interjection from across the House. Uh, if, I, if I heard the comment, I might agree with the member, but in this case, I will. I will allow the Honourable David Bennett to continue with his speech. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And it is good that all parties in this House, I presume all parties, are going to support this bill. Um, so is that, is that member over there saying something? The member, the member <laughs> from, 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 that, that was a big protester and a big supporter and, and told us how great a dairy farmer he was and um, at the same time was putting the knife into the New Zealand dairy industry only a week ago through the DERA legislation, at the same time telling us his pedigree as a dairy farm. And when it comes to the bill like this, we're talking about food safety. How can that member sit in this House and honestly say that he represents or even has a, any linkage to the rural sector when he has attacked deliberately the rural sector and made it very difficult for farmers to actually survive in this country. Madam Chair, I don't want to take too much time on this House. I think that, um, there is a, being a, a gross failure within the system that we see in this Parliament. Um, it's a disgrace for the New Zealand Parliament to be acting in the way that you see at question time. That makes this place a farce, and um, I commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.